Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nick Ravon. Uh, the topic today is a thyroid cancer and lymph nodes assessment on the neck. So the question I received was that uh, I just recently had a thyroid ultrasound, a neck ultrasound done, and I'm a thyroid cancer patient, and uh, they found a lymph node uh, while everything else was normal. What do you think I should do next? So uh, my recommendation was, well, uh, let me present my case to you. So we had a patient that came to the practice who had been managing, he was diagnosed him with thyroid cancer in the office. He underwent resection of his thyroid completely uh, two years back and has done very well. And during my physical examination, I didn't really feel anything, but I did an ultrasound uh, once every six months to once a year, just to follow up the patient, especially if they're new to thyroid cancer diagnosis. And uh, I found a similar thing, a lymph node in the neck that I couldn't palpate. I found a small lymph node. Now my question to you is, should I biopsy it not? Which I'll further explain. So hi, this is uh, the left neck, uh, and this is the carotid artery. The blood vessel takes blood from the heart into the brain. This is the jugular vein. The jugular vein brings blood back from the brain into the heart as a returning blood supply. And between the two, there is this oval characteristic. It looks like a bean. It's called the lymph node. And as you can see right here, uh, this was initially identified during the assessment and the follow-up for the yearly ultrasound. I identified a, a lymph node here. The question was, should we biopsy it? I wasn't really convinced that we should biopsy it because the examination was not that remarkable. We found this incidentally during the repeat routine ultrasound for the neck. The patient's thyroid blood cancer profile and his tumor markers were negative. So therefore I was less suspicious, but when I did the ultrasound, I found absolutely an, uh, a very uh, positive lymph node which sits between the uh, carotid artery and the jugular vein, which is in the neck on the left side on this area here. It measures about five millimeters, so 0.5 centimeters. So if you do recall that one inch is equivalent to 25.4 millimeters. So it is actually quite small. The question was, should we biopsy it? Should we not biopsy it? Where should we go at this point? And I think the most important thing is that I decided not to biopsy it because the patient gave me a clinical history that he had a, a respiratory tract like illness and sore throat and there was this lymph node. So, you know, whenever we see a lymph node in the neck, we get very excited, specifically if it's a thyroid cancer patient, we get aggressively biopsy it through ultrasound guidance. But at this point, based on the ultrasound characteristics of smooth borders, the lymph nodes being elongated rather than tall, having this hilum, which is a fatty tissue underneath it, the characteristics being non-vascular, I decided not to biopsy this patient. And therefore, let's see if that was the right decision. As you can see, I'll show you the follow-up live virtual video shortly. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the image of the patient who had a uh, complete thyroidectomy, means resection of the thyroid and complete. This is a live virtual ultrasound which shows clearly the carotid artery, the jugular vein right there. This patient last visit, if you recognize, had a lymph node sitting between the two, the characteristic lymph node. We elected not to biopsy the lymph node and follow up the patient secondary to its characteristics. And as you can see, that lymph node, which was seen between the uh, uh, the uh, jugular uh, between the jugular vein and the carotid artery sitting in the central between the two is no longer visualized. So I'm glad we did not uh, biopsy it because it did not meet the classical criteria, uh, uh, which explains uh, the importance of being able to follow the patient carefully, do the ultrasound yourself, and look at it. Because when you get a report a 0.5 centimeter lymph node in a patient who had thyroid cancer, that's quite worrisome. Therefore, we're very excited that the lymph node has resolved on its own as we thought it was a reactive lymph node, and this virtual live ultrasound proves that. So as you can see, we opted not to biopsy the lymph node for all the right choices, and the lymph node had self-resolved. It was an inflammatory lymph node, secondary to its characteristics. So it is absolutely crucial to be able to get a good history for the patient, and this patient had a respiratory tract-like infection a few weeks back, and that lymph node was resolving on its own. I'm glad we did not biopsy it because it didn't meet the criteria, and specifically the blood test looked normal. That doesn't mean if the blood test is normal, you shouldn't biopsy lymph nodes, because anytime you see a lymph node in the neck, you have to look at the characteristics, take the whole picture, and most likely, most lymph nodes need to be biopsied. But in this case, we opted not to biopsy it, and as you can see, it was the right choice, 
as the lymph nodes self-resolved on its own. So the patient didn't undergo a biopsy, a cost, and anything associated with that. So we're very happy to share that case and answer the question. I always like to answer a question with a case, which is virtual life and very exciting. I hope this case has been very helpful to you. Take care.